The town of Yatsitz is 25 miles west of Jerusalem. On January the 3rd, 1996, Chief of Security Herzl Constantini was at home when he heard a strange noise outside. When I opened the door, I was paralyzed with fear. I saw a gigantic being around 5 feet wide and 11 feet high. I estimate its weight at about 2 tons. I called the police and two officers came over to the house. They laughed at us and accused me of drinking. But when the trackers came and saw the prints, they stopped laughing. The tracks led right across my field. Many of them were 14 inches deep. You know, uh, that was in Israel. But uh, in our next segment here, uh, we'll look at some tracks that were found in the high desert of Nevada. And uh, see if you think they look similar to uh, the ones we saw there in Israel. All right, go ahead. They're there, here, and there, and there. And this one here starts over here. Right in there, and there, and there, and there. There's possibly four toes there. Your sound's still on. I don't know what's on or not. Yes, so. But uh, it's not conclusive, but that guy is pretty interesting. Yeah, there's one right there, one right there, one right there. You see our tracks coming up to it. Well, it's, it's only uh, one, two, three, four, you know what I mean? I don't know. You can't say you know what it is, but by golly, it's pretty obvious. You know, it's hard to say how old those tracks were. Uh, it's in the desert tracks can you know endure for a very long time but those tracks were in excess of 20 inches and they were definitely bipedal one after another just right out across the desert so um you know something made it I, my first impressions was it looked like an elephant track now let's look at another set of tracks found also in the high desert of nevada Now, do those tracks remind you of what we saw there in the first of the video with uh, the tracks seen in the man's field in Israel? Uh, go back and review it. Look at it again. It looks um, amazingly similar. Uh, it does look bipedal, although there are some exotic animals that do roam the deserts out west. This uh, consistently stayed in a bipedal uh, one, two, three track setup. I'd like to thank uh, Don Monroe and uh, Ron Moorhead, uh, two really uh, great adventurers uh, who have traveled this country and the world over looking for evidence of such things and uh, and you know indians the leg this was in a place where the indian legends were that they there were giants roaming this area uh at one time in the distant past and so uh, could there still be giants here and there on the earth i think it's possible you know uh perhaps uh you know, one of one of the great adventurers will stumble upon uh, some more uh, 
more conclusive evidence like Don or Ron, or maybe I'll get lucky. Thank you for your time. All right, then you got another one right here, and another one right here. Where? I can't see it. Right here? Yeah, right there, yeah. Well, you just a yard past the left of the shadow. Then uh, the dirt gets soft and hard, I mean. 